Hi guys. So for today's reading, we are going to be looking at what blessings are coming in the near future for you. So we have three piles today. One, two, three. Take a moment to get in touch with your intuition and your higher self and pick the pile that you feel most drawn to. And if you guys enjoy this reading, remember to like, share, comment, subscribe, leave a timestamp, a donation, or hit the super thanks button. My cash app, PayPal, and Amazon wishlist are all in the description box below. Thank you all so much for whatever support you send my way for the support that I bring to you each day I truly appreciate you guys and you do more than you realize so thank you so much for everything you guys send my way and let's get started with pile one for pile one so this is blessings in the near future which to me means like the next week or two that's the near future to me I am somewhat of an impatient person at times so when somebody says it's coming now now does not mean a year from now now means these blessings are showing up within the next week or two at tops a month so you should definitely be seeing some of these things very soon in your life and let's get into what the blessings coming your way soon are pile one Ending cycles, closing out things. Um, some of you may actually want to watch pile three as well. I can't remember what came out in pile three. Oh, it was one of the drawings that came out in pile three when this fell out, when I did the charms for this pile. I was like, wait a second, that kind of goes with that. So some of you might want to actually watch pile three if you felt drawn to. 10 minutes. <clears throat> Serenity to accept the things I cannot change the courage to change the things that I can and the wisdom to know the difference. Although it only says serenity to accept, courage to change, wisdom to know. So it's bits and pieces of it. It's the very beginning of it. This is um, ending and closing out cycles, releasing karmic burdens, being able to close out any kind of codependencies that you may be dealing with. It may even be that someone who has never been able to do that for a very long time throughout your life might actually be accomplishing that as well. Or maybe somebody that you know that has been having severe addiction problems is going to be getting clean. I did actually find this outside of a bar in the ashtray right outside the door. <clears throat> So somebody could have thrown away sobriety at one point and maybe they're embracing it again, whether that's you or somebody you know. Feeling overshadowed. Somebody has been feeling overshadowed, left in the background. Nobody puts baby in the corner. You're going to really be feeling inspired to shine and to show your true colors and to be who you are and to realize that you are just as beautiful as a lot of the other beautiful people out there. There's a lot of people that have been standing in front of you absorbing all of the spotlight the attention, the whatever it is, and been shading the view of you. And you have kind of allowed it in a way. You allowed yourself to become invisible in a lot of ways. And now you are going to take your power back. You're going to leave that victimhood mentality. You're going to start expressing yourself, speaking your mind, being yourself, so that you don't feel like you have to um, bury any of that under drugs or alcohol or use that for, as an excuse to be acting the way that you are. Instead, you're just going to embrace who you are and you're going to put it out there on front street. And it's going to allow you the strength to be able to get rid of the things you may be using because of the social awkwardness or um, shyness or whatever it is where you don't feel like you can just be you. Boulder Station, $1, Las Vegas, Nevada. Some of you could actually be um, traveling as well, going on a short trip, maybe even a trip to see some family that you haven't seen in a very long time. You're definitely going to be gaining a lot of inspiration through this. And some of you may actually even be hitting it big in um, the lottery or on slots or something along those lines. I was standing in the gas station the other day and... There's like three people in there talking about hitting it big and making a big win. And that's what popped through my mind as well when I saw the Las, Na Las Vegas, Nevada part. I always feel like somebody's watching me. Um, Dope Game. There's a song called Dope Game. And basically it's like that paranoid psychosis level kind of like schizophrenic level type of feeling of having everybody watching you all the time and 
seeing what you're doing, where you're going. You could have definitely dealt with some sort of stalking type of things or some sort of people trying to throw you under the bus, things like that, sacrificial lambs. Somebody may have even tried to cause you to feel crazy in some sort of way to get a victory. And I feel like this person is now going to be... Um, facing a lot of judgment and having a lot of their karma brought to their doorstep. They're going to be learning from what they have done. And Daniel and the Lions is coming to mind as well right now. You are really unafraid of what's going on. You're going to be feeling very faith-filled and fear-free when it comes to dealing with anything going on in your life. You're going to be taking a lot of risks and leaps of faith, and they are going to be paying off in your favor. The sun, the golden energy of the sun brings fame and fortune. So you're definitely going to be being seen more, heard more, felt more. Um, your authentic true self is coming out. And you're feeling very motivated, driven to succeed and to accomplish your goals. And you are definitely going to be accomplishing a lot of goals and getting a lot of recognition for that. Trinka five, manifesting money and income. So once again, with the money, there's definitely going to be some sort of blessing of money coming into your life in the near future. You're learning how to let go of any kind of lack mentality. You're learning how to really believe <clears throat> in your gifts and your abilities and really believe that you deserve for there to be substance in your life and that it's not a bad thing to want that a loyal guardian a magical protector is there for you so you definitely have somebody behind the scenes that is there for you somebody that is uh watching over you guiding you protecting you if there's any kind of evil eye or black magic or anything like that that you've been worrying about in the past like i said there could definitely have been somebody sending some sort of spiritual warfare your way or evil eye or just talking trash about you whatever the case may be all of that is going to be being released you are letting it go you're washing your hands of it you're giving it to the divine your ancestors your angels you're giving it to them to handle and you are moving forward with your life and that is what relying on the safety of those protectors is what is bringing in that protection. And it's also allowing that karma to go back where it belongs instead of clogging up your life. Four of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, <clears throat> Queen of Cups, and the Buffalo. You are no longer giving all of your loyalty, all of your commitment, all of your everything to a person without... First, making sure that this is something good for you. You're holding back to make sure that you keep something for yourself. You're a very loyal, committed, honest, stable, strong person. You're very abundant. You're very fertile. And you have sprinkled so many people's gardens with beautifully fertile seeds that have grown into beautiful things. And now you are keeping some of that for yourself so that you can stock your own pantry so that you can really have something left for you at the end of the day. So you can make your wishes come true because you are done people pleasing and you are going to make sure that you take care of yourself because you know that you can take care of the rest of the world much better if you take care of yourself first. You're standing your ground, setting your boundaries, really very stubborn and persistent in the path that you have chosen to take, and it's going to be paying off in a very big way. So money is definitely a big part of what is coming to you, and you're going to know exactly what to do with that money when it gets here too. I really hope you guys enjoyed this reading. If you did, remember to like, share, comment, subscribe. If you remember, come back and let me know whether or not it came true. <laughs> um, you can also leave a timestamp, donate, hit the super thanks button. You can find my links in the description box below for donation purposes. And I truly appreciate each and every one of you and everything that you do to show your support for me while I'm here to support you. It's amazing and truly beautiful. So thank you for that. And I hope you guys have a beautiful night or day, whatever it is, wherever you are when you're watching. Bye-bye, guys. Pile 2. What blessings are coming towards you in the near future? A passionate new beginning. You may have been celibate for some time. You may have even been hiding yourself or covering yourself or keeping yourself cloaked in mystery or whatever the case may be. You might have been really feeling like you wanted to be invisible. You didn't want too much attention on you, things like that. Things are going to be changing. <clears throat> You're going to be coming out of that shell. You're going to be really opening up and expanding. You're also going to start seeing some of the... Um, negative things that have been being offered to you in the past 
and the reason why you decided to keep yourself in the state you did until you saw something worth going after. I feel like you're going to be seeing an, something worth going after. You're going to be having a lot of new ideas, new perspectives, new understandings. You're going to have a lot of new desires, new wants, new needs. In the past, you may have been um, avoiding or denying your sexuality. Um, your sacral energy could have been very off balance and I feel like you are healing and really starting to accept not only your sexual energy but your spiritual energy and gifts as well and you're really going to have some massive changes going on there could also be somebody who ends up protecting you from an assault of some sort and then you start to realize that it doesn't matter what kind of clothes I wear it doesn't matter how I dress it doesn't matter how I talk how I look People get attacked all the time every day and it happens sometimes. One of the things that really does help to change that though is how you feel about yourself, how confident you are. Are you loud and proud? Because if you're loud and proud, there's less chance that anybody's going to want to mess with that because it's going to create more problems. There's still people who like to find that prey too, though. So it's not like you're completely safe, but it does happen less, less often as, if you ask me. I mean, there's a lot of people in this world that dress head to toe, completely covered, can't see any of their skin, and they get raped more than people who run around in a bikini everywhere they go. So, I mean the way it works you're going to be stepping up into a leadership role definitely stepping up into a leadership role in some sort of way you may actually even be leading a lot of people who are coming from where you came from and helping them to find themselves open up to the world around them and expose themselves for who they really are instead of feeling like they have to cower away and cover themselves in shame a cloak of shame you could definitely be um you could definitely be Islam or Muslim or uh, extremely Christian or um, just some kind of came from some kind of very overly religious background that used that religion to control people and get them to behave in the ways that they wanted them to get them to stay in line so that they could abuse them in some form or shape. And so you're exposing these truths to the world around you. <clears throat> WW Super 358 win. You are definitely going to win big in the near future. Felix Felicitas. And by the way, by near future, I mean the next week or two or the next month at the tops because I am somewhat of an impatient person. So near future to me does not mean a year or two from now. Near future to me means right fucking now. It's happening now. These things are happening for you right now. You are fucking golden right now. You are lucky. You have the winning ticket right now. So everything that you take action towards and everything that you work on right now is really going to pay off in very big dividends. People are going to be shining recognition on you. You are going to be having a lot of people wanting to follow where you are leading. So remember not to hate the followers. Power symbol to create lucky serendipitous events. <clears throat> Little luxuries. Generates luxurious experiences and surroundings. So you are going to be taking a leap of faith to walk away from the nasty shit of the past. The people who have been abusing you, walking on you, taking advantage of you in whatever way. You're going to be walking away from those situations and you are going to be taking a leap of faith on your own self, on your own strength, your own courage. You're going to be spreading your fucking wings and you're going to soar high, higher than you ever thought was possible. And you are going to be generating everything that you need along the way to support your path. The mermaid of immersion, complete commitment. You're going to be committing completely to this path, to your spiritual journey, to awakening your passions within and exploring those, to awakening your emotional depths and being able to pull those to the surface and pull them out and no longer being ashamed of that feminine energy within yourself, whether you're a man or a woman. There's going to be a lot of hope that you're going to be feeling. There's going to be a lot of faith that you're going to be feeling. There may not be a whole lot beneath your feet for a little while. You may not have a very stable solid place to call your own you may not have whatever you feel like you need but you will have what you actually need and you will gain a lot of hope and you will generate a lot of strength from this experience that you are going through yes your leap of faith is going to pay off in amazing ways all the hard work 
all this responsibility, all the everything weighing on your shoulders, you're just going to be letting it go, dropping it on the ground, and you're going to be taking a fucking leap off that cliff, and you are going to be feeling so exhilarated, fucking ambitious, goal-driven, motivated, inspired. You're going to be feeling like you can do anything. You can face anything. You can overcome anything, and you will succeed at the end of the day, and all your hard work will be for something. Yes, you could have been living a kind of shallow life and experience up to this point. You could have really not had the chance to experience much of anything in life. You could have been so held back and held down by those around you and felt like a fucking caged lion. And now this lion is getting out of this cage and you're getting to prowl the savanna and see everything that you have missed out on and you are just going to be blown away by the lack of fear you have in this because you don't care anymore. You are sick of living your life in fear. You're sick of living your life in shame and you are breaking free of that. And that is what is coming in. That is a massive blessing for you. There is definitely going to be predictions that are at play here too, that you're going to be noticing and seeing that are going to be convincing you to take this leap of faith. And you are really going to be following these things. You're really going to be trusting and believing the visions that you have as well for what good things are coming for you. So awesome for you. I am so happy for you. This is going to be one hell of an adventure. I really hope you guys enjoyed this reading. And if you did, remember to like, share, comment, subscribe. Think about donating. You can find my Cash App, PayPal, and Amazon wish list all in the description box below. Or hit that super thanks button. I also offer services down there. And my paintings are actually listed on my SD shop, which is down there as well. So any of those things are greatly appreciated. Anybody who does anything to support me on my path as I'm here to support you on yours, thank you so much for that. And I really hope you guys have a beautiful night or day, whatever it is, wherever you are when you're watching. Bye-bye, guys. Pile three. For you guys, let's see what blessings are coming in in the near future for you. And by near future, I mean like the next week or two, at the most a month, I'm somewhat of an impatient person in certain ways. And when somebody says near future, I mean like right now, today. This is happening now. This is not something that's happening a year from now or two years from now. This is now. <clears throat> so let's see what your blessings coming in the near future is. A wider understanding and knowledge about a lot of different religions or spirituality or different viewpoints, a very strong and heavy belief in magic and an open mindedness that is going to help you to tap into your inner child and your creativity and vision again. You are definitely going to be networking. Some of you could be business owners. Some of you could be working with a lot of different clients in, a, in some sort of area of your life. Some of you may actually even be addiction um, some sort of addiction specialist or something along those lines. You're definitely opening yourself up to a lot of new things. And communication is going to be something that's going to be a very strong blessing for you in the near future as well. Possibly even communication in your community. Some of you may even be overcoming a drug addiction of some sort or um, really pulling out the past things and sorting through them so that you can really um, learn to let things go. You might be cleaning out things that you don't need anymore. You might be doing some spring cleaning no matter what time of year it is, it doesn't matter. In some places of the world, it's getting ready to be spring. Anyway, <laughs> um, you're really changing things around, turning things around, and creating a lot of new energy in your life as well. You also could be... Um, you could be... Um, Dealing with somebody who could have gray rocked you or you could be gray rocking somebody in some sort of way, basically becoming completely uninteresting and not really providing any kind of extra incentive for this person to be around or vice versa or whatever. And whatever this situation is where the interest is falling and the distance is coming is a blessing in disguise for you. There may even be some communication about a situation like that that happened in the past that could be getting ready to come out as well. Continuing on, peace, love, joy, happiness, tranquility. There's going to be a lot of peace coming with... Okay, there was... This last week I was talking to somebody. I was telling them a story about... I had a dog that sang, Signed, sealed, delivered, I'm yours. 
And then I had a hat that my best friend at one point, who also ended up being my friends with benefits for a little bit there, strictly, literally friends, and then we were having sex and there was nothing else there while we were doing that, and then back to friends kind of thing. But he had given me his favorite hat that one of his best friends had given him in the past because he really liked the sweatshirt I had that came from my little brother. And I was like, you know what? If you want to make me a trade for it, I'll trade you. And he went to offer me something. And I was like, oh, no, that's not even good enough because this, this sweatshirt came from my little brother. And you're going to have to replace it with something that has just as much meaning to it as this sweatshirt does. <clears throat> so he did. He switched his hat with me. And so I had that dog that came from a past love and that hat, and I had that hat sitting on that dog in my cupboard, and I ended up taking it and burning it because I didn't need those things there anymore. I didn't need that energy there anymore. I needed to transform that energy. I needed to let it go. I needed to just put the past to rest, and that was a very solid way in your mind of putting that past to rest. When you take action like that, to actually make a ceremony out of it in some way, it really does bring it to the surface that you are letting go of this once and for all. So you are letting go of things once and for all that are not good for you. And also, somebody could have um, gray rocked on you because of the drugs and alcohol that they were using and they may be getting ready to make that confession or vice versa. You could be getting ready to face people in your life after, after disappearing on them and really, there's going to be a lot of peace and a lot of love coming your way. There's going to be a lot of money coming your way as well. There's going to be a lot to replace the things that you are closing the door on. The things that you're unpacking, unburying, and finally putting to rest is really going to bring a lot of changes and growth to your life. There could even be somebody around you who has a lot of money, but they spend all their money on drugs or alcohol or whatever else there is. Um, you could have even dealt with some sort of narcissism or something like that from somebody as well, which, you know what, um, that could definitely be fueled by drugs or addictions of any sort because you want to make sure you get your fix so you're willing to do anything to get it kind of thing. Anyway, one enchanted evening, the perfect night. Star, the silver energy of the star brings good luck and serendipity. So there's a lot of luck entering your life. There's also a lot of hope that you're going to be seeing. In the darkest of times, you could have found something that brought you so much hope that it turned your life around. One amazing evening could have really just turned everything around completely and all of a sudden you are ready to make things happen in your life. You're ready to go. You're ready to get it. You're ready to do it and you know that you can. And this is going to be a blessing for you. Very specific. Somebody may actually even lose a friend to the drug life. So for some of you, this could definitely be a blessing in disguise as well. Something really bad could happen that causes you to hope for better. But I really feel like a lot of you, it's going to be something really good happens and it causes you to see the light when you're in the midst of your darkness and pulls you up out of it. Bats in the Belfry, you can achieve great things. Yeah, you're really going to be feeling like you can achieve anything that you put your mind to. You're going to be researching. You're going to be dedicating yourself to it, committing to it. You're going to be committing to walking away from anything or anyone that is um, draining on you or causing you to be in a bad energy so that you can focus on you and what you have going on in your life and in yourself so that you can heal and come out of anything that you have been dealing with. You're going to be leaving behind a lot of situations. You may even be getting ready to gray rock certain situations and you could have been feeling guilty about that. That could have held you back for a while now, but you're ready to do it because you see that in a way it is a very good thing. And also sometimes Baby birds won't leave the nest unless they're forced out of it. So you got to allow them to find their own way. Everybody sometimes has, has to take their own journey. And sometimes that's you too that has to choose to take your own journey. King of Pentacles. 
the Knight of Wands and the Spider. So yeah, you could definitely be walking away from somebody who is no good, somebody who's a player, somebody who's very materialistic and is busy spending their materialistic bullshit on all their vices and actually doesn't have anything into the life of providing protecting yourself, um, doing things your own way, no longer people pleasing, no longer working hard just to make everyone else happy. Um, you're going to be going from a state of not sure really about what you want or where to go or how to do it into a more mature state of, I know what I want and I'm ready to go after it. I'm ready to commit to it. And I am ready to take these chances. I'm ready to get out there. I'm, you're going to be moving very quickly towards a very strong, stable and solid foundation in your future and inside of yourself a lot of confidence, a lot of stability, a lot of grounded energy, and you're really going to be feeling very good about the connections that you're making in the future as well. You could even be walking away from some nasty things right into a very good connection where there is commitment, loyalty, solidity, stability, um, strength. Definitely could be that you meet somebody fucking amazing when you're out one night and it causes you to leave behind anything that is not serving your life and to really put your de dedicated focus and effort onto your goals, onto your purpose, onto what you want to achieve and what you want to create in your life. You're also going to be, there's going to be the blessing of having a lot of protection from somebody that's very loyal and committed to you. Somebody that really does not want anything bad to happen to you, would never want to cause that pain themselves and would make damn sure to stand up for you against others if the chance arose because this person is somebody that really does take it very seriously when it comes to stating their mind and being who they are and also when it comes to protecting those that they love and care for ride or die so that is what I have for this pile. And I really hope that you guys enjoyed this reading. I would absolutely love to hear whether or not you guys resonated with it. Um, what you got going on, what this could be. If you guys remember, come back and let me know if it happened later. And uh, if you guys did enjoy this, remember to like, share, subscribe, leave a timestamp or a donation. You can find my Cash App, PayPal, Amazon wish list down in the description box below, along with my SD shop where I sell some of my paintings and my other channel. And any of those things that you guys do to support me, thank you so much for that. I truly appreciate it. And I hope you guys have a beautiful night or day, whatever it is, wherever you are when you're watching. Bye-bye, guys.